It was one of the most dramatic days I've ever witnessed at ICAC. This afternoon, we had former Newcastle Labor MP Jody McKay in the witness box, who broke down in tears when she learnt for the first time of the absolute treachery that was perpetrated against her, not by Liberals, but by her own colleagues, Eric Rusendahl and Joe Tripodi. The evidence was that Nathan Tinkler, the former coal magnet, had effectively tried to bribe Miss um, McKay leading up to the 2011 campaign. And that bribe was in the, the, the form of he was wanting to get up a billion dollar coal loader. And Miss McKay was carrying out the instructions of the community, which was don't let a coal loader be built at Mayfield near residential area. So Mr Tinkler came to her office and on the pretext of discussing the Newcastle Knights, which he owned, he mentioned to her that he didn't think she could win the election and that perhaps she might like a donation from him. Now, as a developer, you can't donate to political parties. It's been banned since 2009. So Mr Tinkler, when this was pointed out to him, said, oh, that's not a problem. I have hundreds of employees who could do this for me. Anyway, she reported that to both the police, to ICAC and to the Electoral Funding Authority. And then not long after that, she received a call from the treasurer, Eric Rusendahl, who appeared behind the scenes to be backing Mr. Um, Tinkler's proposals. She said that in a very low, quiet voice, he said to her, but haven't you spoken to Nathan Tinkler? When she stood up to him and said, I will not support what you're trying to do, there was a campaign run against her. There were leaflets distributed. It was only today that ICAC told her that Joe Tripodi and his associates and Nathan Tinkler were behind those posters. Miss McKay paused and then she started to cry. And she said, look, it's what I've always believed, but in a way, I'm glad now that I finally know that this is what happened. And in the end, um, Miss McKay did lose the uh, campaign to the Liberals. And she said she never wants to have anything to do with politics again.